Hello viewers. Here we have a 1938 Cadillac. That's right, vacuum cleaner. When I was but a wee lad, I saw this old thing for sale at the Maxwell Street Flea Market, and it reminded me so much of Kirby the vacuum cleaner from the Brave Little Toaster that I just had to have it. Now, so many years later, it's finally time to restore this sorry old sight. It was made by the Clements Manufacturing Company, right here in Chicago. Apparently, they made Cadillac, Lincoln, and Packard models, and I did see a Packard on eBay, none of which were licensed by the car companies. But supposedly, Clements would sell these to car dealerships, and the dealers would throw in a vacuum cleaner when you bought a Cadillac or something like that. It honestly looks like it's been well used over its 80-year life, but I have a feeling it was finally abandoned when that center cap was either lost or broken. I'm certain that this was left in a basement that flooded at some point. With it open, you can see clearly it has a water line across the blade. You can also see where my father ground away the corrosion from the stagnant water to free up the movement of the blade. Here we can see the brush. It's in good shape, and I almost want to say that it's been rebristled at some point, because the bristles are mostly in great shape for obviously having been so well used. Now I have the motor completely disassembled. If we take a look at the blade, we can see the numbers 3863 stamped on it, which is partly how I figured out the manufacture date. 38 should indicate the year, and another part has a different number starting with 38 as well. Looking in the motor housing, we can see that it's absolutely filthy. I should also mention that this motor was running before I took it apart. If we look at the armature, it's rusty, but in surprisingly good condition. The shaft where the bearings go and the commutator are perfectly fine. This is the field coil. Again, dirty, but otherwise in great shape for a well-used 80-year-old motor that was sitting in water for a while. And that's the model number plate. Sadly, someone scrubbed most of the writing off, and I'll have to fix that later. Here's how the bearing is assembled. We have a stamped steel cover plate held down by three screws, a paper gasket, a sintered bronze bearing, I'll get to that in a moment, and the bearing felt, which is just a piece of felt that stays soaked in oil. And as you can see there's a passage to the side of the plate with a little oiler, it's a spring-loaded cap that you can stick your uh, oil can onto and oil the bearing from the side, where there's a small uh, notch on the side of the motor housing for, your, for access. As you can see, I've cleaned up the fan blade a bit, wire brushed it. There's a number two stamped on the back that I didn't see before, and the same 3863 number on the front. And here we have the sintered bronze bearing. And what that means is it's not cut from a piece of bronze, it's actually bronze powder that's been squished into the shape of a bearing. And what that means is that it's porous and it'll actually soak up oil like a sponge. So if the felt is soaked in oil, with capillary action the oil will actually seep into the bearing and go to the shaft where it's needed. The bearing felt is 80 years old and hard as a rock, so I need a replacement. Here, this is a car battery terminal felt that I liberated from someone's car. I take them off of any battery I see. They All they do is cause trouble. This one is a bit unusual for uh, that type of thing. It's, most of them have a slightly bigger inner diameter and a cut around the inside, but this one doesn't, and it fits the bill perfectly. It just needs to be trimmed to size. Here I'm performing a little experiment. I'm putting a little oil in the cap for the bearing to soak up. However, after leaving it there for a week, it hadn't absorbed a drop, so it needs some help. I did a little research and found that a new centered bronze bearing can be primed by putting it in oil and putting that in a vacuum chamber. I don't have a vacuum chamber like these hipster YouTubers, so I'm using my AC recovery machine. And in the beer bottle, filled with oil, are the two bearings from the motor. 
Now check this out. Under a vacuum you can actually see the air bubbles leaving the bearings, and in the empty space the oil will fill in. I let this run for about an hour, and the air bubbles still hadn't stopped coming out, so I just turned it off and I came back the next day and just let it run all day long while I was at work until the bubbles finally stopped. I put the motor housing in my transmission parts washer to get the inside perfectly clean. Afterwards, I started polishing it. That's just the first pass, but look at that shine. Here's the result of the first pass of polishing. I will have to go over it again with a finer rouge, the white rouge, and then a little metal polish after that. But even so, right now it shines like it's brand new. I bought all the polishing supplies from Harbor Freight. It's a 7 inch polisher and a 6 inch cotton buffing wheel. And they have a kit, a polishing kit, with all the different rouges in it you need to polish. The first pass is done with the brown rouge. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for new ones. Thanks for watching.